Hi guys! <laughs> this is another oddly grown garden video and I'm very excited to share this with you. Last January 2020, I put up an unboxing video of air plants with Cretilanche and Genseas that were already growing flower stalks and two of them were already starting to bloom. I think you can get some seeds from this thing. I still don't know how to do that, frankly speaking. <laughs> you guys already know that I'm still new with this thing. <laughs> By the way, if you want to watch that unboxing video, the link is in the descriptions down below. I wasn't really sure if these species are really self-pollinating, but then I do remember manually transferring pollen from one stamen onto one stigma to another just because they're all indoors and somebody has to play the role of the bee. So that's me. That actually rhymes. Well, it seems like it worked because after several months, seed pods started to appear on both plants. As hopeful as I am and for the sake of being prepared when the time comes, I ordered a styrofoam with net on it that's made exactly for growing air plant seeds. I forgot what it's called though, but yeah, that. In January 2021, just a year after I got to lunch at Genseas, my mostly ready time arrived. The seed pods finally popped open from one of the Talanchi Genseas and because, again, they're indoors, I didn't need to worry about the seeds spreading everywhere. So I brought them to the bathroom and manually picked out the seeds using tweezers and gathered them on a piece of tissue paper. I don't exactly know how many seeds there were exactly. Airplane seeds are small but have fluff on top of them that are called parachutes or coma. So as a bread. They actually look a bit like dandelions. Cute. And then I transferred the seeds on the styrofoam net tray. I'm sorry, I really don't know what it's called. I tried to spread them as evenly as possible. After that, I started spraying them with tap water, which I left overnight. The next morning, I found another open seed pod on the floor. It might have fallen while I was moving my airplane. So, I decided to do a little experiment just to have something for comparison. I was thinking of mimicking a nursing environment. In order for me to do that, I took an empty transparent plastic container with lid and filled it with wood chips to serve as substrate. Work. Then I spread the seeds evenly before spraying it again with the same water I used the other night. I closed the lid and left the container with the seeds and wood substrate at a window near the heater. So, in this way, just enough moisture would be left inside the container to assist germination and the light coming in would be strong enough to dry out the seeds fast because they do dry fast. If ever the other one fails, at least they have a backup. Well, if I'm lucky enough for the other one not to fail as well. So I thought, well, which one worked and which one didn't? Just this month, April 2021, I'm so glad to say that the little green babies are showing in a mini Nursery. Yeah, we need nursery. That's what it is. It just gets better. The other night while checking on my air plants, I found this. A huge explosion of seeds on that other Talanchi say I told you guys about. So, I did the same thing I did with a successful group, hoping these seeds would grow to be as stunning as their mama to let you do and say it was. Or is. Because it's still alive. Now, this batch is plantain. Unfortunately, 
Unfortunately, there's still no progress in the styrofoam group, although I water it more frequently than the other group considering moisture retention. It just gets dry easily, like really, really, really. So I just decided to mix them up with the new batch. I laid them on the other half of the container. I really can't tell if there's still a chance though, but then again, it's still worth a try. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thank you very much again for watching. If you have any suggestions or questions, please don't hesitate, hesitate to put it in the comments down below. Thank you very much and I'm gonna see you again on the next one. Bye!